All right, I have something extra special for you today. Our friend and correspondent Luke Beasley was in Latrobe, Pennsylvania for the Trump rally. He interviewed a dozen people and we are going to look at it right now. Now, a few things that I want to say here and this I'm not joking about this. When we we're not even playing everything for you, there's some stuff Luke sent me that seemed so obviously in the wrong category. And I'll tell you the categories in a second that it just felt like I just shouldn't even use it. OK, but as a general thing. By definition, if you survey the MAGA movement, they have delusional, incoherent beliefs that in any other context, we would say that's mental illness. And so you go and you interview people and they all kind of seem mentally ill. And it really raises a question for people who are wanting to say, let's hear from this movement. There's tens of millions of these people. We want to talk to them. And then you talk to them and you go, can I even air this because they seem mentally ill? Am I is am I is am I doing something wrong by showing that this is what they say? There's obviously cult beliefs and people that are just sucked into a cult. And then there's ignorance and there's mental illness. And it's a Venn diagram. I don't know exactly where each of these people are, but it's something we really think about. And I cut out some stuff. So let's just start Luke first talking to a couple of women. One of them says Trump is currently the president. The other woman in the middle kind of doesn't seem to buy it. And Luke does a really good job here. Let's let's start. And by the way, it was really windy. So at certain points, there's just like wind noise. Luke did the best he could. I don't even know if he's president. Really? That's the Tucker Carlson psychotic laugh. I do question that. Who do you think is the real president? Donald Trump. I think he'll be back any day under military. So she says Trump's the current president. He will be back any day under military. Now, look at the look on the other woman's face. She's starting to say, I may be nuts, but I'm not as nuts as this lady. Ooh, whoa, OK. But this is the, the thing with that I got to filter out. He is attacking Biden's performance as president. But Everybody. he's the real president. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Luke, why is that so hard for you to understand? He is. So he's to blame for inflation? No. No. I believe there's, well, no, he's not. Ah! <laughs> I believe there's a show going on. I'm believing he's letting this happen to show people what, what this Could've world happened. would be without actually God's letting this happen. Exactly. Do you guys understand what's going on? Trump is the real president under military. Oh, so he, the, if the president is responsible for inflation, inflation must be Trump's fault, not Biden's. No, Trump, actually, God, God and Trump are allowing Biden to pretend to be president to show you if he were the real president, he would make inflation go up, which he did, even though he's not the real president. Why won't people just accept this? Luke's like all skeptical as if this doesn't make sense. He totally has command. Biden is completely. Hello. <laughs> have you talk? Have you heard him talk? Who votes for someone like that? This ain't real. This is not a real thing. Okay, well, I'm just going to make this prediction to you because I believe it. Donald Trump is going to take back over. Every executive order that Biden put in will be gone that very second he takes back over. Yeah. And you, and you were saying, I, I heard the beginning of this, that the military was going to do that? Yes. The military is going to do it. So Trump's going to do it. The military is going to do it. Everybody's doing it. Is that a cult member? Is that an ignorant person? Is that a mentally ill person? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here is a woman who makes what I call an indefeasible argument. And that's these are particular types of arguments that make it really tough to talk to these folks. That is our right as an American that our votes count. And it did not count in the 2020 election. Can, can I uh, press y'all or ask y'all about that specifically? So with all the evidence that I am you know, hearing a lot from people here that they believe that and feel like they've seen that evidence, why for someone who's trying to strictly go to things that they know can be verified has that not been shown up in any of the court cases that have been done plus any of the audits that have been done among the many corruption there's corruption and, and i the mean audits that they weren't audits that you know counted the votes um i mean they, they weren't an audit understand what's going on these this these are indefeasible arguments you can't defeat them okay the example i gave on the stream is as follows someone comes to me with tears in their eyes and then say david sir There's a tiger in the room with you right now. Be careful, because in the studio, right in this studio with me right now, there's a tiger. And I go, oh, okay. I don't see a tiger. You say tiger's invisible. Okay, invisible tiger is unusual, but fine. Let's do this. 
let's put baby powder down on the floor so that because the invisible tiger still has mass and volume as the tiger moves around, it will disturb the baby powder on the floor and they'll go, no, it's weightless. It's a weightless, invisible tiger. And then I say, well, at some point, this tiger is going to need to eat. Let's put food down on the floor. So even if we won't see the tiger because it's invisible and even if the tiger also doesn't have any weight or mass so it won't move around the baby powder at when it eats, we'll see the food being eaten. I go, no, it's a special tiger that doesn't need to eat. That's what these women are doing. They will always say no, no, but the audits weren't done correctly and the judges were corrupt. Um, I mean, it was an audit in a sense, but it wasn't an audit to actually, right. you know, count. it wasn't an audit that was going to put Trump in the White House is what she means the votes and the errors that that went on during, you know, the election. I mean, all the love in the world. The reason why I have a hard time believing some of these claims is because like the corrupt point would maybe make more sense if a lot of the judges that these cases were put in front of uh, were appointed by Trump. And so I guess is it even them too? Yeah, I understand yes. what you're saying. There. Yes. Um, well, a lot of people that were appointed by Trump um, really, I mean, backstabbed them. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. They became corrupt after Trump selected them. Here's a guy who just straight up doesn't believe the election results. And we're seeing um, kind of a phenomenon going into this midterm that's very different than others, where a number of GOP candidates have indicated kind of you've probably seen they get asked like are you gonna concede if you lose and it's like no if we lose it's probably because the democrats stole it um is that a mindset that you guys share you want to answer anything but do you oh i definitely think it was stolen yep. i always think that they could tell i always think that <laughs> it's a lie and i'll never believe that it was legit interesting that is something that a lot of times i'll, ha I'll say in conversations like what would i have to show you or pose to you that would change your mind on that particular issue? I don't think there is anything to show. Not I remember looking back when they were showing all these people at the election places where the uh, votes were and everybody's running around covering up windows and stuff. Nobody wanted them to see in. I mean, who even knows what she's talking about? People covered windows, so therefore Trump actually won. Then he interviews a guy who seems dead set on repeating multiple times that he does martial arts. Martial arts clearly very important to this guy, who also, by the way, is wearing an ultra MAGA shirt. This is Rich Shade, Christian, patriot, mixed martial arts expert, and the world's most handsome man. What are your feelings since they're kind of big in the news right now about the investigation going on into him? based on the documents he had in my life. I think it's nonsense. I think the Justice Department right now is is totally uh, corrupt at the top. I actually know some. I, I train in mixed martial arts. Uh, a we black know. Belt in judo and getting close to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I know a lot of people in law enforcement. I don't think the middle level people in the FBI are crook, crooked, but the upper level. We've never had anybody weaponize the Justice Department against their opponents like Joe Biden's doing right now. So what's interesting about this one is that this is verbatim stuff that Trump says verbatim. They, they've weaponized the Justice Department. It's never been done, et cetera, et cetera. Not particularly interesting other than that. But understand the cult followers are paying very close attention. They're getting the exact terminology from Trump. Here's another guy who, you know, again, I, I don't really know what he's talking about. Totally incoherent. We lose the war. Was it before any of us were born or our parents or ancestors were born? Or was it the Native Americans in the beginning or were the white people, the original occupants? Of the reason you hear Trump speaking in the background, by the way, is half the crowd was leaving while Trump was speaking. So there were plenty of people to talk to while the rally was going on. America and then they got pushed out by now I'm not saying I, I love hip hop culture of hip hop is like inbred into me so. inbred it I like that that's a nice portmanteau of uh embedded and bred into me it's been inbred into me maybe the guy's just hungry maybe a black soul and a white body I'm not sure but I still have my soul in like the soul of America is like slowly dissipating yep so he had opinions about things Here's a guy who uh, believes that the Vatican is actually controlling everything. This one's really weird. What do you want to hear from Donald Trump tonight? Make America great again. And what has made it not great? What has made it not great is what's going on right now. Open borders, high inflation, 
uh, everything that's going on right now is just uh, diametrically opposed the economy to tax diametrically opposed again they, they just make up words they're totally confident make them up totally confident make it's diametrically is 86,000 IRS agents I mean if we have all night I mean the moon will set tomorrow by the time so we like you said there's so many issues let's zero in on one uh, inflation? Are you saying you blame Joe Biden for inflation? Well, when you the sit there and, and, and you stop fossil fuels and the country's running out of diesel in 17 days and no trucks, no boats, no plane, nothing's going to be moving. Yeah, you might want to open up fossil fuels. I think this is coming. I think it's coming from the Vatican, the Vatican's meeting. He hesitates before dropping this bomb. They were world leaders. And at Mount Sinai, right. Joe Biden is getting his marching orders from the Jesuit oath. If you open up the Jesuit, and this might be look crazy to these people, I don't really care. Google the Jesuit oath. My, that when when Joe Biden was elected president, he opened up on a with a Jesuit priest on a Jesuit Bible. We've had two Roman Catholic presidents in this country, and Joe Biden has taken orders. Just read the Jesuit oath. That explains so much. Value. Yeah. So that's that's pretty bonkers stuff. Here's one guy who just was furious and started swearing, wearing an, a huge, huge hat. Uh, tell me about what you saw, what you liked. I liked everything. Everything. Yep. And I want to say something, but I can't. Say it. Go ahead. <laughs> Democrats. Uh, why do you feel that way? Because they're scumbags. What have they done to help this country? You're young. Yeah, the Inflation Reduction Act is lowering prescription drug costs as well as an investment change. Uh, why is she that in your mind? All right, anyway, I won't stick with it. The guy's just swearing so much we have to keep bleeping. And then here's the last guy. This is Then we got to the QAnon guy. Uh, I'm pretty far down a rabbit hole, so I don't know what I think right now. So. <laughs> what does that mean? Describe that for me. Well, it's just the whole everything that's going on in the world and has been going on in the world and a lot of just we'll call conspiracy theories you know (laughs) just for the heck of it for the game what would you say your most wild conspiracy theory would be and and luke's instincts impeccable there to go right in for the bong most bonkers thing um I guess there's really not a, a wildest one. I mean, they're all conspiracy theories until they are one proven true or the masses believe them. So, I mean, there's there's been some wild ones over the, over the time, you know, with all the child sex trafficking and Donald Trump being the first pres- president to fight against that. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's the truth. So child sex trafficking, huge problem. Totally agree with you. That should be addressed. It's the connection, I guess, to like it's the Democratic Party who's doing this and Biden's in the back no, room. It's, it's good versus evil. It's, it's not Republican versus Democrat. There are a lot of evil people in the world, period, whether they're Democrat or they're Republican rhinos. And they're bad for the party, bad for the country. And Does Trump's uh, relationship with Epstein before he died bother you at all? I don't think so. <laughs> that's, that's good, huh? There's pedophiles everywhere. It's Republicans. It's Democrats. It's all of them. We got to root them out. Oh, yeah. Trump was friends with Epstein. Is that a problem? No, 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 no. And watch what the guy says. He comes up with Trump was probably undercover. No, I don't think so. No, it doesn't bother me because I if anything, I would think that it would be like a, a you know, a, an inside, you know, what I mean, like he was on the inside getting intel. There like, you go. Same thing he did with the, uh, the mafia people that stayed in his hotels and they were getting uh, information back years ago in Trump hotels. So he's Trump playing hotels. Epstein. I think so, yes. Interesting. Yeah. This gets even crazier, and we'll have the full clip uh, online, but that one was really wild. So really, really good job by Luke Beasley. You can find his YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. Go to davidpackman.com slash Luke, and you will find it all. Check out our sponsor, Shaker and Spoon, the monthly cocktail subscription box that delivers the craft cocktail experience to your door. Each monthly box comes with three original recipes created by world class bartenders with ingredients for 12 cocktails. My favorite is the Blood and Sage. It's part of the vodka based drinks. It uses herbed sage syrup and blood orange Meyer lemon ginger ale. Delicious, refreshing. I love how Shaker and Spoon includes everything you need, the ingredients, the instructions right in the box. The recipe is easy to follow. The blood and sage made for a very relaxing fall afternoon on the back deck. A lot of fun with Shaker and Spoon. You don't need to seek out hard to find cocktail ingredients or buy 
full-size containers of things you'll use once. This is way more convenient. Shaker and Spoon introduces you to spirits and flavor combinations you may never have otherwise discovered, and it is a fantastic holiday gift. Give the gift of an awesome experience. Shaker and Spoon giving you $20 off your first box. Go to shakerandspoon.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.